in 1999, one planet on the nation, on, 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 on the, one nation on the planet, decided enough is enough and passed groundbreaking legislation to decriminalize the selling of sex while criminalizing the buying of sex. In other words, men buying sex face a fine and the possibility of imprisonment for a maximum of six months. That nation is Sweden. The rationale behind this approach is clearly enunciated in Sweden's preamble to the law, which states, in Sweden, prostitution is regarded as an aspect of male violence against women and children and constitutes a significant social problem. Gender equality will remain unattainable so long as men buy, sell, and exploit women and children by prostituting them. A key element in Sweden's sex purchase law provides for a comprehensive social program with ample funds aimed at helping prostituted women who want to get out of the sex trade. Since that law was passed, Sweden has seen a dramatic decrease in all facets of the industry. The number of prostituted women has been cut by two thirds, the number of Johns has been significantly reduced, and the number of foreign women being trafficked into that country for sex has been dramatically slashed. More importantly, 60% of the prostituted women in Sweden have taken advantage of programs aimed at getting them off the streets and have succeeded in exiting prostitution. The Swedish approach may not be perfect, but for me, and for anyone out there who believes in human rights, it stands out as a beacon to the world and it is the direction all governments should be heading.